Colombian President Gustavo Petro promised many changes during his presidency, and the country has already seen some of them fulfilled in his first 100 days in office, including lower unemployment. He re-established relations with neighboring Venezuela, opening the border, restoring diplomatic and economic relations with the country, and meeting with his counterpart in Caracas. Restarted peace talks with the ELN, Latin America's largest remaining guerrilla group, and opened negotiations with other criminal groups tied to drug trafficking as part of his total peace plan. Uh, also, I think we have a more uh, proactive government. He has been like uh, with all the energy coming through these hundred days and uh, trying to uh, fulfill what he planned during his campaign. Uh, so it's the first time that you can have like biggest reforms written and presented and debated within the Congress in so short time. One of those promises is a tax reform bill already approved by Congress. It will raise an additional four billion U.S. dollars annually for the next four years. Experts say this was achieved in part with increased duties on oil and coal when prices rise above a certain level. Still on the list of things to do, a proposal for health care reform and a controversial mining moratorium. There are also many challenges related to the economy, with both rising inflation and the devaluation of the Colombian peso. Amigo, but supporters took to the streets on Tuesday to show their faith in what's to come. I am an indigenous woman of the Wayu people, and I think that everything having to do with combating climate change and the climate crisis needs to become a reality. And that is something that President Petro has promised. In a poll released over the weekend, nearly half of those surveyed, 49.7 percent, held a favorable opinion of Petro's administration. That was nearly 4 percent higher than the previous month. The citizens and groups opposed to President Gustavo Petro have already had several demonstrations against his administration and are calling for three consecutive days of protests at the end of the week. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogota.